welcome back to Star Trek The Next Generation Borg Invasion 2 against the Borg Queen. Alright, we've drawn up our hands at the end of last episode. Let's get pulling the space deck card and find out what horrible thing is going to befall us. Oh great, Return of the Borg. Let's take a closer look at this one. Alright, let's have a closer look at this. It says, you each gain Borg cards in your hand until each of you have the same number of Borg cards in your hands. Then remove this card from the game and explore again. Uh, oh, great. Okay, let's uh, let's figure that one out. All right, it's not as horrific as I thought. We do have one board card in player one's hand, and we have no board cards in player two's hand. So basically, player two is just going to gain one board card to their hand, and now they each have one board card. And that's the end of that hideous <laughs> uh, turn of the board. All right, next card is, ooh, I think this is the good one. It's an event. Let's have a look at that. All right, let's take a look at this card. It said, set this card aside during your turn. You may remove this card from the game if you do look at the top four cards of the space deck and return them to the top of the space deck in any order. You know what? I think we're just going to do that right now. Uh, why don't we? So let's... Go ahead and burn this card, and we're going to take a look at the top four cards of the space deck, and we get to put them back in any order. So at least we know what's coming up. All right, that's actually not bad. So we're going to take a look at the top four cards. One, two, three, four. And we get to put them back in any order. We have the USS Enterprise. Um, flip this card, gets four attack and two speed, unless you have a character with a five plus on your bridge. Ooh, we could diplomacy this guy. Uh, oh my god, a board cube, the Pasteur, and drone attack. Um, oh my goodness. <clears throat> this guy's three speed, three diplomacy. I think we're going to put the Enterprise on the top, the board cube. Oh man, and this, these are both bad. Let's put, uh, let's put the two ships on top, so see if we can diplomacy them, and then we'll put... The drone attack, and then the board cube that way. Oh boy. So we, at least we know the next two cards are just going to be ships that we might be able to diplomacy. All right, cool. Uh, now we can go to Starbase. So our player one has this for their hand, and player two has got this. All right, let's, uh, let's go to player one, have them take their turn. Again, it's a simultaneous play, but we'll do player one first. All right, so player one, no phasers are not going to do us any good. We get a plus one search. I haven't been doing much searching. So basically all they have in their hand really um, is, well, actually we could discard the phasers in tricorder for our special ability to put a discard card from player two's hand on top of their deck. But we'll, we'll hang on to those for a second. But we're going to go to Starfleet Academy. We're going to upgrade our Ensign to one costing two more. So basically it just means we're dumping off the Ensign and we're upgrading our Ensign to a Lieutenant. Boom. Done. Uh, but we're not done playing yet because I want to hang on to these because we might want to discard two cards to put a card from our Player 2's discard pile on top of their deck. But let's go do Player 2 stuff next. But actually I did have a look at Player 2's discard. We're going to dump both of these we're going to discard these. Uh, discard two cards you had. If you do, you can move a card from a teammate's discard area to top of their deck. So that's going to basically be the end of our turn for player one. But we get to take a card from their discard pile and put it on top of their deck. Which is actually really cool. We're going to take the tricorder because it's two diplomacy. And we're going to put it on top of player two's deck. That give them a chance to get the next ship we know which is coming up, which is the Enterprise. All right, they have um, Diagnostic and Ensign, Starfleet Academy. All right, which is pretty cool. They actually have two, four, they have five. Uh, we're not going to worry about this one. Draw, discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. We don't want to because we want to leave that for next time. Uh, so we're not going to be doing anything with that card. We're not doing anything with the board card. And we do get to upgrade a character. So we get five. Let's go to Starbase, spend our five XP. Uh, and we're gonna we are gonna up then upgrade a lieutenant to a commander five because there's no five characters in Starbase. So we'll go for a commander. Uh, we do have five XP to spend though. Let's go to Starbase and figure out what we want. 
Now we could just grab another commander, but you know what? We're going to get this here. We're going to get the Baryon Sweep for five. Remove all damage from your flagship. If you remove three plus damage, this way you get to draw a card, and you may trash a card in your hand. Good for getting rid of board cards. Boom! That costs five. That goes in our discard, and it gets replaced immediately with, oh my god, the uh, Wormhole. So basically the Wormhole means you take all cards from Starbase, dump them out, and reseed the entire Starbase again. So from a mile away, we basically, oh, we lose the, oh, we lose the engage. Oh, that sucks. So we basically just get rid of everybody from the star base, and we put out nine new ones. We get, uh, okay, we got a, again, I'm not going to go to the detail of any of these cards. When we purchase them, we'll get them. Oh, we got some Klingons, we got some Cardassians, we even got some Romulans coming up. Level two diagnostic, all Good. So that's our new star base. Um, and yeah, I think that's basically the end of our player one, player two's turn. So we're going to zoom out. Well, player one's got two cards. Player two's got three. So I'm going to have to shuffle both discard piles uh, to give them a draw deck. All right, discards have been shuffled. So two cards from player one. Diagnostic, evasive maneuvers, and three more. Row! Okay, one, two, and the Starfleet Academy three. The player two, as we already know, has got their uh, two diplomacy oh, diagnostic. Oh, level two diagnostic. Oh, nice. And two more cards. Oh, great. An ensign and uh, evasive maneuvers. Hmm. All right, well, we know what's coming up on our next draw because we seeded the deck that way because we had that beneficial card. All right, so yes, of course, we know what's coming up. It's the USS Enterprise. So let's zoom down here, take a closer look at it and figure out if we can in diplomacy it or not. I would really love to gain this card. It says flip this card gets a four attack and two speed unless you have a character costing five plus. Well, we do have the row character for player one costing five, so that's not gonna happen. So one speed and two diplomacy. No! <laughs> no! Uh, so we would need one speed, two diplomacy for player one, but we need three speed, uh, three speed and two diplomacy for player two and yeah well let's have a look oh it makes me want to cry so because we have a five character for player one we only need one speed and two diplomacy well guess what we have for player one we have th one two three we have five speed but only one diplomacy Arr! not enough and if we look at player two Player two needs three speed because we don't have a five character. We don't have a commander. Oh, darn it. So we have one speed and two diplomacy. So neither player one or two can get the Enterprise. The Enterprise says, you know what? We're leaving the area because things are getting too ugly. Damn it. All right, well... Now our characters can play cards and maybe purchase things at Starbase. So let's go ahead and take a look. I guess we'll get going with player two, or player one. Okay, well, we might as well start off with the Rolaren card, which is one of our players can draw two cards and discard one of them. Let's have player two do that. Uh, and we're going to draw two cards. They're going to discard both of them, but they can trash one of them. All right, let's hope we have a board card. Nope. Oh, darn it. We got to discard our commander. Oh, and we have a board card. We get to trash it. Oh, my God. Good. Okay, that was... Well, it sucked that we had to lose our commander, but we did destroy a board card. All right, back we go to player one. And continuing on, player one, evasive maneuver is going to do us no good. We do have, uh, we're going to keep these two, and this is discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. So we're going to discard evasive maneuvers and draw a card. Uh, phasers, well, okay, didn't do us any good. Um, but we do have 
Starfleet Academy and 2XP. Well, with 2XP, I mean, we can go ahead and get another Ensign. But you know what we're going to do with our 2XP? We're going to take one of it and we're going to fully heal our ship up to 8. If I can find the 8 on the 20-sided die. Boom, and we have one XP. Actually, we have an XP left over. Well, let's go ahead and we'll spend the uh, XP. We might as well go ahead and get an Ensign because we can update them later. Discard pile. Okay, and we now have... We can upgrade one character. So we can turn this guy into a commander, or we could upgrade Ro Laram from a 5 to a 7 character. And I don't think I want to do that. Let's upgrade our lieutenant to a commander. Boom, 3 to a 5. Because, well, we could get a 5. I don't know, that's a 6. We can get this guy as a 5. You may draw a card if you do. This card gets minus 2 diplomacy. And just one speed. Oh, I wonder if this guy. Now nah, we'll go with the we'll go with the commander for now, just because I think that's going to give us better, more experience to buy some better cards. That's basically everything. Roll Aaron can uh, roll Aaron. I keep calling this character Roll because it's the only command character. It's basically everything they can do. Let's take a look now at player two. All right, let's see what player two can do. Well, evasive maneuver is not going to do anything. Uh, oh, this is cool. So the diagnostic, um, this stays in play. At the end of your action phase, you may trash a card in your discard area. Well, we don't want to do that. i got to leave this in play. I'm going to leave it, I think, right here. So keep it in play. I know it's kind of off screen there. And then we have uh, Tricorder giving us an extra search. And we basically have two Ensigns. For one Ensign, we're going to heal up to our full... Uh, defense and we have one left do we want to yeah you know what we're going to go ahead and spend the one we'll get another ensign and that is going to conclude our turn oh and then we can trash a card in our discard the only card we had in our discard was commander and we do not want to trash that in any way shape or form all right we're going to zoom out uh and i think we're just going to wrap up our episode. i just want to do two turns an episode again so i can try and catch things in editing and not get way too far ahead of myself that I won't know what's going on. All right, we're going to zoom out, wrap up our episode for today. All right, that's going to wrap us up for today. I guess we'll draw our five cards for next episode. One, two, three, four, four. It's just five, a Borg, Lieutenant, an Ensign, Ensign, and a Tricorder for player one. And player two, five cards, one, two, three, four, and five, leaving two. And they get a Lieutenant, a Borg card, Barry on sweep, diagnostic check, and Starfleet Academy. All right, that is going to be our hands for next turn. We know another starship's coming up. If we can diplomacy it, probably not. So thanks so much for watching along. Here's your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Star Trek Next Generation Borg Invasion 2. And we're trying to defeat the Borg Queen, but I think we have to step the pace up a little bit. But we'll see what happens in the, in the following episode. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation.